On your screen now, you should be able to see the rules for my brand new series. Basically, I have a marquee player and two other players from a transfer market or a pack. I build a free league hybrid with max five players from the same league or nation. And then I rate the squad at the end for several things. Will squads will not continue as I didn't really like the idea. But yeah, this is a squad building series. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So, as you can see on your screen, our marquee player today is Shevchenko, which is our loan legend that we got. We all got a legend loan pack on Xbox, and I got Shevchenko very happy. 84 pace, 87 shooting, 84 dribbling, 71 passing, 73 physical. Amazing player. We'd be better if he had uh, four-star skills. Also quite tall, so quite strong and built. But yeah, um, I'm really happy because he used to play for Chelsea. But his, you got to admit, his best times were at Milan. So, like, um, from the rules, we get two other players. In the, today's episode, we actually get three. Because Legends League doesn't really count as a league. Because Legends linked to everyone this year. So, this will be even more of a challenge for me. Because if I get, like, two centre-backs and a goalkeeper, I'll be pretty hard. But luckily, I don't. I'll get Mauricio from Lazio first. And then I get Aurier. I did, like, page page numbers and then play on that page can't remember what the was but you see them on the screen we get Valbuena which we can't use unfortunately uh, so we get Benega we can't use Valbuena because he's the same league as Aurea which we already had so there are four players in the team and yeah I'll be right back with the finished team boom and we're back there we go For starting off in goal we have got Marchetti, Federico Marchetti, absolute beast of a player. 800 coins are paid for him, six foot two, and I really like the acrobatic save technique on goalkeepers. I don't know, they perform better for me. Then our first centre back, we've got obviously Mauricio, who is our chosen player off the transfer market. Then we have Gentiletti, who actually is an absolute brilliant player on this game. I've got to say, 700 coins, which is almost discard value. So I would not go wrong if, I, but if 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 you really want like a cheap Serie A centre back. And then we've got Aurier, a right back, who is another chosen player off the market. Then we have Felipe Luis, who is used to ex Chelsea, 7.5k, which is quite a lot for him. And yeah, high medium work rates. So push up the pitch, maybe get some crosses in. Then we have Trejo. And this guy, oh my god, guys, he's absolutely insane. 400 coins, but look at those stats 80 pace, 73 shooting, 77 defending, and just great all rounder. Perfect for that center mid spot. Then at Cam, we've got Benega, who was our chosen player. 3.7k, not bad at all. Really good player. They also all link there, as you can see, because they're all Argentinian. Trader links to Gentiletti and also Benega. Then at left uh, CDM, we have an absolute god in form, Krihoviak. Looks an absolutely amazing card. Got, say, 84 defending, 88 physical and good pace as well. Not really that kind of shooter guy, but also got good passing. So he'll stay back and, like, hold the midfield. So, like, for stop, we'll stop counter-attacks, such as stuff like that. And he's an absolute beast in form as well. Jose Rodriguez at left mid down. He could say the cheap alternative for Ronaldo, some say. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Decent work rates. And a good 87 pace, 74 shooting. And yeah, he's also got the finesse shot trait, which is pretty sick. Now, obviously, Shevchenko up front. We've already gone through him. Amazing player. Then we have right wing. We actually got Lucas. Who I was making this team in concept first, and I was buying the players, and I was shocked by how much Lucas is. He's actually 21 uh, k, which is quite a lot for a Lucas. I, w I would say he's probably dropped down in price as you're watching this video, because I pre-recorded this video as Krishovac was still in form, and the new team the week, what two team the weeks ago, I think actually. So yeah, I just. Took me too too long to edit as I'm speaking over it now. But yeah, we play a game and I'm at to match highlights. Let's see the highlights. First of all, Shevchenko, the legend, with a finish. Lovely finish. There you go. Top corner. And it's a goal. So 1 0 to us. Let's just see that from his perspective. Lovely crew turn there, you could say. Amazing turn. I can't believe 
like what he, he did to his body, like Kroof did. Yeah, top corner, keeper had no chance. They have a save here by Marchetti, and like I said, he played an absolutely outstanding game for me. It's a lovely top corner save, as you will see here from this angle. He knuckleballed it into the top corner, but Marchetti at full stretch keeps it out, keeps us back in the game. They have a miss here by Jesse Rodriguez. It deflects with one of off our players, so never know what could have happened if he wasn't in the way. Probably might have gone in, but I'm not going to judge that. Then we have another chance here, but great save by Machetti. It was my opponent that had the chance. Yeah, lovely reflexes there from Machetti. And yeah, he really kept us in the game. This guy had like a non-red goal team. And oh my goodness, goodness me, guys. This save. That's why I like acrobatic keepers. They can pull off saves like that. Oh my god. That is literally the best save I've probably pulled off this year. Lovely. Oh, like at full stretch as well. What a save. So many replays on that. They're just amazing. And finally, we, he actually does score an outstanding goal. I don't know why I brought Marchetti out slightly. I was like trying to close the angle down. But yeah, he kind of knuckleballed it. As you can see, I think it was a knuckleball. Yes, it was. Because it like dipped. Really, it went really high and then dipped. And it kind of went in the middle of the net. But a lovely finish by Lucas. He had a non-red uh, goal team with loads of not very good chem. I think he had like 50 chem or something. But he still played pretty well. And then we have a miss from Hesse. And then it goes into penalties at 1-0. You can see me speeding up. They hit the bar here, as you can see. We scored all ours so far with Shevchenko. And someone else, can't remember now. And then we put it in the top name, which is an absolute amazing penalty. And then to uh, our, our last penalty, Benega puts away. And then this guy, this ginger guy, has to score for them to stay in. If Machetti saves us, he wins. And he missed. Over the bar. Marchetti dived the right way as well. So he would have saved it anyway. But yeah. Here you can see Marchetti celebrating. He really deserves man of the match. I think. Yeah. You, you'll see later. He did get man of the match. Amazing saves that you saw in the replays. He made much more. That you couldn't all be in the replays. But yeah. He have 8.5 for Marchetti. Man of the match. 6.7 for Gentiletti. 7.4 for Lucas. 7.5 for Shevchenko. 7 for Krushevac. 7 for Trejo. Our fullbacks could have played a bit and get more involved, but it doesn't really matter because we get 1.5k because I've got coin boosts going on still. I'm like level 60. And yeah, here we go for the awards. Hidden Gem Award goes to Trejo, guys. He was an absolute god. Him and Krishavik, like, like stayed back and like held the midfield really well. The best player on the team award obviously goes to Marchetti. And you may be surprised because there's players like Legends, Info and Krishavik. But Marchetti just played insane. And you've got to say, yeah. And then Marquee Player rating out of 10. These are all the awards I'll be giving out each episode. So you can remember the Marquee Player out of 10. 8.9 for Shevchenko. Really good legend. I've got to say, one of the best striker legends. And then team rating is 9.6 out of 10. Literally, guys, this team was insane. Good formation wise and everything else, really. Every player played really well. Maybe fullbacks could have done better. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and bye.